Hey YouTube fans and welcome back to your boy, the local boy, Scottish Tricky, coming live at you for another Star Trek Discovery official Starship review. And just, just before I start this review, I just want to wish everybody a happy Remembrance Day as well. Uh, we wish all the, we, where we think of all the people that fought, fought for us as well over all the uh, bad times as well. So happy Remembrance Day everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, I am your boy, Scottish Tricky. So today, uh, this evening actually, I'm going to be doing this one. It, ca it came in the post yesterday, so I'm going to get into it. So it is the Klingon Raider, Star Trek Discovery, the official Starship Klingon, uh, uh, Klingon review for this Discovery uh, collection. So I'll get into the, the magazine, and once I've done the magazine, We'll get into this as well, which is here. And there it is, the Klingon Raider. The one we saw uh, Ash Tyler and Gabriel Lorca steal uh, from <coughs> to, get, to, to get away from the Klingons. So let's get into the magazine, shall we? So I'll just run through it and uh, show some of the images of the magazine. Uh, so let's get into it. So it's a profile of the Klingon Raider and designing the ship. Uh, so its specification is Crew 2, its alpharation is Raider, uh, Raider, and it was launched in the 23rd century. So we get to see some images of the ship. So you see it here and I'll show you how you guys how to mount it on its stand because it's a new, it's a it's a newish stand for that type of ship. Um, and you get to see, as as always, down below, you get to see some image is, uh, images of the ship down below. So, let's get into it, shall we? Oh, and I'm also wearing the disco t-shirt that I got from DST uh, Destination Birmingham. So, Klingon Raider. When equipped with a cloaking device, these small ships should not be underestimated. It was stowed on board larger craft for short-range raiding missions. These small fighters had just enough room for a pilot and a gunner and a crammed cockpit. Uh, yet despite their size, Klingon raiders played a major part in the Klingon war effort. On Stardate 4851.5, a cloaked raider destroyed Starbase 22 uh, by self-destructing uh, self inside its uh, space dock. And uh, not long after, the same technique obliterated Starbases 12 and 19 with one third of the Federation fleet with the Klingon le leader. Cole left, uh, it left his r r rival, Vok, to die on board. Uh, the US, uh, derelict USS Shinzo, Vox ally, Laurel, uh, Laurel rescued him and uh, using a raider from the Klingon sarcophagus flagship. Just weeks later, Gabriel Lorca and Ash Tyler stole a raider from a set-class prison ship with five other raiders chasing, giving chase. Their pair were beamed to safety by the USS Discovery before the raider was destroyed. So we get to see some images of the raider, which is here. Really, really nice starship. It's done something different. It's like, a, it's like if you look at it, it's like the worker bee, but without this design at the top. It's like, it's like a Federation worker bee. And then we get to see the profile of the Klingon raider, which is here. So side by side shot, top, back, uh, front and back. And then designing the Klingon Raider. So the designer was John Dickinson, combined on an inter uh, insectoid silhouette with stunning surface detail to arrive at the final fighting, fighting ship. Uh, the Klingon fleet includes a tiny fighter known as a Raider. They're barely visible on screen, but the first scripts were written. Fighters were going to play a larger role. When Burnham first investigated the Klingon obelisk, 
in the Vulcan hollow, she would have literally bumped into one of these as it decloaked in front of her. The original plan was for Sam Mitchlap to design the radar with a which at the time was seen as Discovery's equivalent of the Bird of Prey, but was tied up on working the Kuvma's sarcophagus ship. Uh, so the radar was handed over. So you get to see some of the design in the Klingon radar here and here. Some really, really nice artwork there as well. And then you get to see some other stuff as well from the radar, from designing the radar. So you get to see these images up here and here and here. Some really, really nice work as well. And down here you get to see the becomings of the radar. And so the designer was D uh, Dickinson, uh, John Dickinson. So you see what John's done here and here. It's a really, really good design. I mean, some of the artwork in here are absolutely stunning. I mean, and you can see by yourselves, you can see some of the nice imagery that, is, that they're using. Really, really nice. And then one of Dickinson's idea was the ship would, uh, would be able to walk behind its pilot if they landed on the surface of a planet. And coming in the, uh, the next issue, is one I cannot wait to get is the Star Trek Discovery shuttlecraft in coming in 19. I'm still a bit behind, uh, and then you get to see this, the, the, the sarcophagus, uh, the, the radar up there with Star Trek Discovery down below. Yeah, I'm a wee bit still behind, I'm still waiting for the worker bee. So let's t show you the, the Klingon. The Klingon Raider. And here she is, boys and girls. A really, really nice, interesting ship. These parts here you have to take off and put on yourselves. They're really nice and easy to slot in. Uh, what you do is just slot it in the top of the guard up there. But you have to make it sure it's in securely. Or they start wobbling around. I like this part here at the front. This part here is really, really nice it's like a plastic glass or yeah it's like a it's like a glass stick and you can also see in there there's a, a so these parts here can actually move down and if it's on the planet that they, they can walk and you can see the back of this you can see the back it's really really nice isn't it Really, really nice. And to attach it onto its stand, which is here. So the stand is there, so it's a Klingon radar. Uh, Klingon radar. Come on. Uh, it's 2454A A. Klingon radar. And what to do is. You see that little bit? You see this little bit here? That's where the stand goes in there. And it slots in nicely like that. And that is the Klingon Raider. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Really, really nice. And that is the Klingon Raider. So these bits here, they were talking about in the magazine. These parts here can actually be the worker, uh, wa uh, the walking legs, if it's landed on a planet. I, I like how it's like a, I, I like how it's like a, like a, how can you say it, like a mosquito. Uh, it's got the long, the long tail at the back, and these parts are like its wings. It's like a mosquito. But I'm really unhappy with that, and I'd like to see what you guys think down in the comments down below as well. If you've liked what I've done, uh, please show the thumbs. Um, and hopefully, I should be get the work. Hopefully, I should get the the worker bee and um, 
the Discovery Shuttlecraft very soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because this one took a while for me to get, for it to come. Um, so yeah, so that's my, that, my review of the Klingon Raider, nice and sweet and short. Hopefully, that uh, uh, you guys have liked what I've done to show this off. I know most of you like. Uh, I'm still waiting on a new camera coming as well, so hopefully that's. But it's the image looks fine. I mean, the, it, 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 you can still see the. The detail, the, st the highly detail. See if I put it up there like that, you can still see all the detail. Um, and I know you guys are wanting the top notch quality, but I will get something organised. Uh, and I, I promise you, I'll, I'll get the a new webcam um, for to store uh, and to. Uh, to to upscale my reviews, so yeah, that's my review of the Klingon Raider issue, and show the thumbs if you like the video tonight, and uh, please put some down to comments what you think of the Klingon Raider, and I will see you guys in the next video, and I am your boy, the local Scottish tricky, and I will see you guys later, and as always, live long and prosper. And I will see you guys later. Bye now. Thanks. Bye-bye. Good night. And thank you much for taking time for watching this video. And bye for now.